listening to the Why Are You Interview Podcast, episode 18. Hi, kitty cats. I am Amethyst Herrick. Your host is for Why Are You, an interview podcast about identity. Well, in the last show, we heard a story of the real-life superhero Lux Nocturna. And in this episode, we meet Captain Morgan, a real-life pirate on the high seas and vaudeville sea shanty cabaret leader. Okay, technically I can back up neither of those two stories, but run with me a little bit because uh, my conversation with Morgan was really pretty dang funny. This content is brought to you by subscribers of my Substack publication. If you are already a subscriber, Thank you again. If you would like to support shows just like this one, as well as my writing and the videos that I create, please consider subscribing using links that you're going to find in the show notes. I hope you enjoy this interview with Morgan. Okay, joining me today, both audio and video, I'm speaking with Morgan. First of all, Morgan, thank you so much for agreeing to yeah, talk to me. I'm super excited about it. So... Morgan, I know you from from Medium, like everybody. I know you from Medium. <laughs> Medium, and one of the things that I noticed your little icon, um, the little icon is a is a pirate. Kind of looks like a pirate, mm -hmm. which the first thing I thought was, well, you know, it's like a play on Captain Morgan. But I, I wanted <laughs> see, so that's my question. I'm going to say, well, what's the what's the pirate look? Where's that come from? <laughs> Are. So, uh, you know, very interesting question. So I, when I was coming out, um, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know where to start this whole thing. This is like a year and a half ago. And um, I, I started getting early on, I'm like, I'm really self-conscious. I look like a man that's been run over by a pickup truck at the point, you know, back then. Sure. Um, the problem is we're so hard on ourselves, right? Yes. But then I, so part of this has been like, being authentic, being vulnerable, um, and being kind to ourselves. So, like, um, in an effort to be authentic, I told my girlfriend the first two weeks I knew and, like, into the relationship, I um, uh, was trying to be more authentic with myself and, like, be open about my struggles. And but as I started to get a little bit of basis underneath me, like, I wanted to have a profile that wasn't my old name, my old self. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, um, I made that my middle name and, like, to honor me being one person in that background and stuff like that. But as I was developing, I, like, I didn't want to put my mug up there just yet. Right. Um, you know, my, my hair was super short. I just didn't like how I looked at the time. And I, but I wanted some sort of, in some things you need a, a I didn't want to be a giant M. So, like, and yet the whole picking the name thing is a, even a different story, but, like, I like the name Morgan, right? And I'm like, Morgan, 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 what represents Morgan? And I couldn't get Captain Morgan out of my brain. <laughs> right. and, and, and the original one's like, you know, the pirate's like sitting with one knee. And, but then I saw like this female pirate, like in this red, like little number. And yes. Woo. Oh my gosh, I remember <laughs> I'm that. Like, I'll go with that. That's it. So oh. um, I, and I was like, oh shit, am I going to be sued for like, if I steal this and use this in a few sites, because, you know, some sites will pick up the icon and use it everywhere. Oh, right. And so, like, I changed the icon just ever so slightly. I, like, drew an M on it and stuff. <laughs> and, and, and so Captain Morgan was born. Um, but I don't, but I don't, you know, and ironically, my brother, when I was young, he called me Captain. Because, mm. like, I don't know why, but, like, maybe my sister was Captain Coronation. He just called me Captain for some reason. And we went from there. <laughs> <laughs> so it seemed very apropos, you know. Uh, yeah, but that's kind of the short story on on the Captain Morgan I, uh, pirate. I love, and that. I like pirates. So okay, okay. Because <laughs> I mean, is that so that it was actually from like a Captain Morgan ad? Then the thing that I mm -hmm. look at. Okay, oh, You're that's very, awesome. Very observant. That's awesome. No, it's. I mean, it's. It was super. I looked. I was like, oh, that's super cute. And I remember. And it was happy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I remember the, the, the pirate, the Captain Morgan in like the red number, like you said, that was like a, you know, bustier kind of, uh, you always have to get like the, you know, the, mm -hmm. oh, you can't see like the leg up, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right. Perfect. <laughs> but it was amazing. I love that. So, so you did mention, um, 
you said early on, and I want to, you know, anybody who's, who's, uh, who doesn't know. So you are a, you identify as a transgender woman then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. you're 11 months into, into HRT at the moment, right? <clears throat> And that was a hard, so I actually had it as of January, 2022, Okay. but I delayed like six months because, or five months because of some health stuff going on. And then like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I read about all these things like where your, your sperm can, maybe I still want to try to have kids. So like right. I froze little peep buggers, right. um, but that took some doing and researching and where to go and what to do. And, um, but you can't take HRT when you're doing that if you. It, it really I can imagine. make it yeah. yeah, I imagine. So. so, so well, thank you for that, by the way. And and interestingly, you said, you know, the name Morgan is a, there's a story in itself. My second question, dang it. <laughs> tell, tell me what, because it's... Not, you're not supposed to, like, leave that laying down where I can read it later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. <laughs> can you zoom in like that? But the, but, but where... <laughs> So, so, I mean, because, because like name stories, name origins are always fascinating to me. So I have no choice but to say, well, where'd, so where'd Morgan come from? Tell me about it. Uh, okay. So, um, it's an interesting story. Uh, at least I think so. Um, so I've always liked the name Morgan. Um, it means of the sea. It's an old Celtic name. Mm -hmm. Um, it also means round. Um, yes. And so like, uh, I think there's a third mean, but. I'm not gathering, but I've always, the sea has been very much my home. Like, okay. uh, I live in the Seattle area, sure. but like, I feel at home and at peace by the sea. You know, growing up, uh, we would go camping out uh, along the ocean and just, I was so at peace. So like, it always had deep meaning for me. And I would have named my first daughter Morgan if I could have. I see. And so, um, fast forward, uh, I get a divorce a couple years ago. Uh, I, no kids. We tried very hard, but like. And I'm like, I have this blue Jeep that's just like one of the few things that's like brings me unfettered joy. Okay. And so like, and I'm like, oh, I should probably name that thing, you know, just because, and then my niece goes, oh, we should call it Tulip because, you know, why not? And I'm like, we can't have a feminine name. <laughs> and for this is before I knew I was, I mean, for my Jeep, right? Okay. It was manly. And this is before oh. I knew I was trans or anything. All right. I gotcha. Um, even though I had echoes of far distant things going on. Um, of course. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, we go back and forth and they're like, and the, the color of my Jeep is called Bikini Pearl. So my, my, um, my friend goes, oh, we should call it Bikini. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> and so back and forth, I'm like, I know. We'll call it Morgan because it's sure. blue and like, and I take it along the sea. Sometimes, you know, you can go drive along the ocean and stuff sure, like that. Sure. Um, down by Long Beach in Washington. But like, there's all these different things. And so anyways, for about a day or for about a week, it was, it was Morgan. And, Very and then unique. I start to, I have my oh shit moment. I start to go in like for a while, like, oh, I really want a name. Um, like I want something that really speaks to me. So... <laughs> Look over at my Jeep. <laughs> right. Yoink. <laughs> yeah. And so I became Morgan, and then we had the same problem again. Like, what do we call my Jeep? This time, though, it's okay that it's a girl. Right. And it's okay that, like, well, you know, it's okay that I can be girl. So, yeah, no symbology going on there. No. But, like, um, yeah. Uh, today, my Jeep's now called Bikini. <laughs> I and I'm Morgan. Yeah, I would have thought it was Tulip, actually. I thought you would go with Tulip. <laughs> no. Okay. Still no. Okay. Still no. <laughs> Although her car's name is Tina, so... <laughs> Good enough. Do you, so you would... But you had mentioned uh, a middle name, too. Wait, actually, if you hang on, because I wanted to ask you. You you had said a Celtic name, and of course, you know, there are there are Welsh myths. You know, the, in the Arthur, Mish, Mi, Arthur myth, there is Morgana... You know, there's, mm -hmm. there's, you know, now Morgan Le Fay in, in, in more recent translations and, and uh, interpretations. Did, did that play into any of it? Maybe, like, as I was going through names, um, it kind of cut, crept up because I love the mm -hmm. story of King Arthur. Yeah. And, you know, equality and, like, um, I mean, there's some weird stuff that goes on too, but, like, oh, especially Merlin. Like, there's sure. so much symbology there and stuff. Yes. Um, and 
And as a kid, I always imagined myself pulling out the sword. You know, the Disney's little the sword and the stone. Of course, I would watch that like a thousand million yep. times. Um, <laughs> but I think, um, and of course, after I picked a name, like it turns out that it's a very popular trans name apparently. But oh, really? I, I don't no, know. I've seen it. A, I've seen it a bunch. Sure. Um, although it's kind of like when you buy a car, you suddenly notice everybody driving that car. So like, <laughs> meh. <laughs> it's a good point, yeah. Um, I, they didn't factor in as much, really. Okay. But it was because it was actually its meaning of the sea and blue and. Right. And. Right. Uh, it, for some reason, that name always like jumped out at me. It, like, had really special meaning mm-hmm. years ago when I was planning daughters' names when we were pregnant. And. and yeah. Um, that's a. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, we can end it there. Do you mind telling me about your middle name then? Sure. It's Chris. So my birth name was Christopher. Okay. Um, and um, my, uh, I I don't know how they picked it. My dad has a brother, Kit, who, which is associated with Chris. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think I was named after him. And so I think they just liked the name. And um, I I love who that person was is and was and so I made it my middle name I didn't feel any association with my old middle name sure. um, I was named my middle name was after my grandfather okay. um, who my mom wasn't particularly close to um, uh, so like yeah I just didn't feel any sort of association with my old middle name so like to honor who I was and who I am I like because I'm one person so like I figured that that really was meaningful yeah um, yeah no I appreciate that that's that's. Good. I never liked Christopher because I was always in trouble if I heard that name. So like, it just became Chris. <laughs> right, of course. Yeah, you certainly don't want to hear Christopher. What are you doing? Put the cat down. I still the... do occasionally. And <laughs> oh, dude. There's work in progress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> parents, right? You know, but when you know, he's Christopher, get the cat out of the fire. You're like, I was doing nothing. I was. Okay. It's not even there. Yes. <laughs> you know that reminds me of like that horrible story where. They took their cat that had died and they made they put it like around the frame of a drone, and so their cat's like flying around. No, oh my God. who did, who did that? Somebody's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the cat looks really surprised too. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> Seriously, dead, yeah. Um, who does that? It's terrible. Sorry, go ahead. What were you going to say? You can read the weirdest shit on the internet, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, sort of. Not that any of us spend any amount of time on the internet no. reading weird shit. But... No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> all right. So I've asked you, so I asked you like good questions. These are good questions. But I always mm-hmm. like to throw into, like, I, I mean, I was mentioning earlier, I always go into like these other questions that, that you know, you're supposed to kind of go, I'm sorry, what? Where, what was? So... You leaned into pi- the pirate theme here, okay? So I, and I was really hoping you would, because if you didn't, I'd be like, oh, shit, hang on, I gotta get some new questions. <laughs> but let's, <laughs> but you leaned into it. So, so imagine, so let's pretend, let's pretend that, um, that you are a pirate. I, I think, I think the Arr. first, I think, right? See, you've already got the R down, right? So, <laughs> I have the sense my first question kind of, you know, is pretty quick to a- qu- pretty quick to ask. But so 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 you're you're out there on the salty sea, whatever the hell they mm-hmm. say. I don't even know. But whatever the hell they say, you have to sing this though as a sea shanty. So go. <laughs> <laughs> you're out there on the salty sea. Living a life of piracy. I don't know. Am I doing okay? I, you're pretty. I'm sensing an, an, a hidden talent. I'm considering. Yeah, I'm considering actually um, doing a bunch of freestyling around Captain mm-hmm. Morgan. You know, I could be. You know, I, I can't really beatbox, but this could be really interesting. We could both do things we're not comfortable with and see where it goes. I think we could, and we could take that show on the road. And I have no doubt nobody would come to see it. Absolutely certain. <laughs> My mother. We won't even stick around. <laughs> my mother. I could tell my mother, and she'd be like, "No, I don't have the nah. time. I've got to. I'm sorry, I can't make it. You know." 
she was never very supportive, <laughs> by the way, just to say. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry. You're at, no, it's cool. Hopefully she's not listening. Or you mean of your sea shanty career? <laughs> it was really the sea shanty <laughs> career. I wanted to be a, a guitarist, and she said, no, you're not going to make any money being a guitarist. I don't make any money as a writer either, so, you know, I'm glad... <laughs> Glad I do this. At least you're doing something you love, right? There you go. <laughs> so you're out there on the, on the whatever the hell the whole, this all TC. What what's what is the um what's the? So I was going to ask two things. First of all, what's what would be your pirate name? But then also, what's what's the name? What's the name of the boat? I feel like a Swedish, like a Swedish um, mm. drinking game showing up here. But what's the name of the boat? Any Swedish people out there will go. Dang, where'd she get that? Yeah, I knew it. Am I on a big boat or a rowboat or what am I? Oh, because, come on. You're you like know. a you're a successful pirate, I think. <laughs> yeah, but it is my I, I've seen Cap Sparrow like where he's like mm. getting off his sinking ship. I could have been successful when I bought a crappy ship. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Let's let's say um, let's say you have a good ship. All right. Not the I good, have a good ship. ship. Not the good ship lollipop. I'm, I'm though, sensing don't. a good plunder this year. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Shimber me. Uh, you know, someone has to say shimber me timbers at least once. At least um, once. What you wanted to do there, though, so, when you do that, especially as transgender women, if you're going to do that, mm. you have to go, ah, shiver me timbers, and you have to sort of make vague. Have the boob out. Yeah, make vague. Shimmer that's me timbers. right, exactly. You've got it. Shimmer me timbers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It's, there has to be a um, vague reference to, you know, what's going on downstairs there. So there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Everybody watching hmm. the video right now is very uncomfortable. Confused. I might be one of them. Hey, we're doing our job. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. We we're um, advertising our sea shanty takeoff career next week. Um, right. <laughs> aboard the SS um, uh, Flying Shipman. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's going to make What's... it in vaudeville, but... Actually, it's a new business model. They pay us to stay away. Oh, <laughs> I can do that Thank very you. well. <laughs> I think so. My captain name on my on my captain's door, right? Yes, yeah, you have right. to have a door. Yeah, and you have to have that cute little plaque where you put your name. Brass I would make mine totally business professional, and I would put Mister. But then I have to have a very pirate name. But I'm not a Mister, so like I would pick because all pirate names kind of play that edge of sassy and. Hmm. I'm I'm picturing you, by the way, Captain? on the deck of the ship. Like, you know, what do they call the, the thing? That's not the best gesture for it. But like, there's always like a, <laughs> you know, Ricky Lake the, carving the kind swing. of things. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. They all have the, masculine names. But no, there's like this. There was always like a, like oh. a thing sticking up the front of the boat. I don't know anything about boats. Oh, you mean the the the. the the pokey the thing, thing yeah, the sure, right. The po <laughs> but I can, but I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing. I, who the, cares? Uh, it's called a bust. No, is it really? That'd be great. I but I can see you've got the little red number on, of course. You've got the red number on with like, because it's like a striped, it's sort of like the, that satin and velvet striped, <laughs> you know, corsety bustier type thing. And you've got one one foot mm. propped up on the the you know the rail by the stern with a pokey thing coming out. You're like, you know, you gotta, you gotta get the, the thing going. Yes, you know? yes, so yes. Like, you gotta look the part. But you, as you're looking out with your hat on, you're just surveying mm -hmm. everything. You're like, I can't. You, my leg maybe you there. have a spy. <laughs> maybe you have a spy glass or something. You gotta have, find one of. Those. But you're, but you're, you've got your leg. Out, you know, the thing is, is. So what's? And you have to look fabulous doing it, of course. That's so what like, the red number ooh, is. Yes. The SS fabulous. The S. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, I, thought I was asking um, about the name. Where there's on the brass plate. What's it and, say? And it's it's in it's in Barbie. It's in, yes, it's Barbie, in Barbie font. font. Yes, okay. it would have to be. So pink. Uh, but the captain's name. <laughs> I do kind of just, like Captain Morgan. Just go with Captain Morgan. I mean, yeah, Captain Morgan on the SS <laughs> Fabulous. Just... <laughs> What's my cargo? Spreading her. I don't know. So it's, you're spreading your shit. <laughs> Spreading your shanty everywhere you go. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Can you repeat for the bailiff one more time? For the officer one more time what you're... 
charges were. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was okay. spreading my shanty and my skirt was a little <laughs> short. Uh, yes, that's that's been recorded on the record. We need the phone. Fo- <laughs> you want okay. you want me to get to the next question? Because oh, I so do. Yes. <laughs> it's not getting any better. All right. <laughs> There, you know, a good a good origin story, <clears throat> right? When you've got mm. like, I don't know, what do you? This is like, you know, they fear me, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, like you know, they're like black. I feared on like four of the seven seas. Yeah. <laughs> there's actually twelve, but I can't count either. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm more. I'm still working on it. I've got to. <laughs> but like you know, what, what was his name? Um, Blue Bluebeard, I think. So Edward Teach, mm-hmm. you know, had like this moment where I think he got you know his wife pissed him off or somebody goes oh, screw it i'm gonna go have a life of piracy you know something like that <laughs> what i don't know and then there's like soggy bottom i think was another pirate and and i think we know the origin <laughs> the story you know there's a foggy bottom in dc <laughs> <laughs> that's good enough is that a pirate it's one of the stop it's a stop on the, tr- <laughs> on the tram system <laughs> So it's an area that's like really marshy. It's called Foggy Bottom. You, you can, I, it would have made a great pirate name or a band name. Right. Oh, band name would be great. <laughs> yeah. People show up. They go, "What are we? Are we getting sea shanties today?" Yeah, I think so. Captain Morgan in the Foggy Bottom is showing up here. So. <laughs> the Foggy Bottom band. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It's like the Soggy Bottom Boys from uh, whatever that movie with George Clooney was. Lawsuit still still pending. <laughs> still pending. That's a shame. All right, come on. So okay. I, so I, sorry. I'm I'm pulling myself out of this more than anything. Why did you take up a, li- a life of piracy? What happened to Captain Morgan? That that. Uh, well, you see, when I was a wee, well, when I was a wee one, we uh, I wasn't we didn't sure. have much than it. I I thought it might turn into soggy little... bottom there. I'm sorry. When you were a wee. <laughs> We, we no okay. When you were, when I had to pick a name that was fearsome, you know, and I picked one of um, Old Ironside. But they came up with my friends looked at me and go, "No, you're like you're like a foggy bottom kind." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Screw you! Who needs friends like you, anyways?" So I left that lot <laughs> and went looking for some real friends, you know, right. the kind that have your back in the middle of battle. Right. The people um, you don't need to keel haul at a moment's notice. Right. That, that still fear you, but respect you. Yes. That's very important right. when you're when you're doing your your pirate duties, <laughs> um, right. Captain Pirate duties. Yes. Which is usually singing something, drinking something, or inspiring the men. But uh, yep. And women. I am an equal opportunity pirate. And uh, I'm very few, you know, for progressive looking. Um, let's see. And so fast forward a couple years and like I just had a thing for rum. Um, it just smells great. I never drink the stuff, but it just smells good. Right. So I rum everything. And uh, uh, we get to, you know, you know, those uh, those. What do you call those things where you you light them and they. They smell good and stuff like oh, that. like incense. Yeah. There you go. We had rum incense. The problem was it was making all the men drunk, so I had to switch it out a little bit. Vanilla, nah, didn't work. But let me tell you, pirate droppings, I mean, uh, parrot droppings, worked wonders for getting them to port faster. It was great. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so for a while, we did, like, fake dog shit and pirate dropping incense. Like you do, yeah. Like you do. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to edit this video, maybe. <laughs> I don't, yeah, maybe we pull that up. But I get. You know, you got to figure. You show up. You've got your sea, sea shanty. You know the, the the sea shanty show. I did export a CD for a while. You know, back when CD sales, you would show up. You know, and that took off and funded my first pirate ship. So a CD of um, sea shanties. Hmm. And then I said, I'll play it again. And then, and then I started collecting the no-pay fee. And that became a great business model for my future endeavors. And if nobody, if, so, if they said, look, it, I'm not paying you, you go, hang on, I got some incense. Give me a second. <laughs> and and just likewise, right. when, you're, when you're boarding a ship, if they don't, you know, behave, you just start playing it real loud-like, mm-hmm. right? Oh, and sure. it, it kind of inspires people to, like, behave. It's weird. It does. <laughs> All right, let's let's hear about your crew. 
So, so you got? Is it is it an all ladies crew? Um, they're still making up their mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's even better! <laughs> Holy cats! <laughs> they, they're still figuring themselves out. You know, that's we perfect. are a very open minded lot here. That was so, perfect. Thank you. Um, one of them is clearly a man, but he likes drag. So, sure. like, we're you know, some of our entertainment is top notch. Oh sure. So. <laughs> Every night, sea shanties, <laughs> first start. We got to keep practicing, right? And then uh, uh, we followed by some light drinking, some partying, and and just like more singing. Right. Uh, I think uh, my men are and women are up to like three sea shanties an hour. So <laughs> pretty good. That's pretty good. Do you could do you close the evening with a can can then? Because you probably. Probably should. No? All right. You know, I do have an opening on my crew for like an ideas director. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. I do. I, I have somewhat of a problem with seasickness. Do you think that's going to be an issue? <laughs> that's okay. We're usually in port anyway. So we'll be just fine. <laughs> right. In fact, we just usually meet behind, you know, at the Denny's, you know, just down the street. You're, you'll yeah. be fine. If we have a gig, we usually just jump in a bus and... <laughs> But it's like a pirate ship. It's like a pirate <laughs> ship, except the guy driving it is named Mr. Gridley. And, uh, you know, same as like... You know, he doubles for the high school. I've known the guy for like 30 years. It's exactly great. Right. All right. <laughs> so it's not... It's obviously not... Uh, you know, that guy was... Mr. Gridley was a real person who drove the bus when I was in high school. I don't know why I still remember the dude's name, but his name was like, his name was like, uh, was like Harold Gridley or something like that. I always thought, you know, poor dude. I mean, I'm sure he's not with us anymore. If you are, hey, Harold, good for you, man. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I don't know where I'm going with it. That was What I was going to say was that, you know, you have a good relationship with said, you know, bus driver, but there's got to be an arch nemesis Right? I mean, oh. you can't just... Well, of the bus driver or of me? No, possibly the bus driver, too. But I'm concerned <laughs> more with Captain Morgan. Hmm. Who's the arch so nemesis? So Captain Morgan's arch nemesis yes. would be um, Plain Jane. She does not like sea shanties. Nope. Sometimes her middle name is Karen. <laughs> and um, she has a bad rap on the internet. Because yes. she does a lot of screaming. Right. In fact, a lot of her videos are made to screaming videos. Like, you know, they'll, they'll have some heavy me oh. metal and a bass. Yeah, and... sure. <laughs> no! Um, she, she often protests my uh, performances. She'd like to but speak with But we just figure out manager. how to make her like a groupie. Like, we, when she's going all crazy, we just make the music go to the same thing. It's great. It's a good point. It's a good <laughs> point. If you can't beat but them, she's... join them. Well, we figured out a way to make her feel welcome, right? We we offer her a, a drink. She's a. Uh, we usually just form the stage right around her. It's great. <laughs> but she's my arch nemesis. She's she's not until this dying day that she's going to get me back. I'm sure. And then it's usually the the next protest, and mm -hmm. we just figure out a creative way. We hand her a couple pints of something or another, and, and she's usually pretty. Some good pi couple bite. pints of rum, yeah, and <laughs> shuts her right up. <laughs> Like you, you would do what, almost anywhere. And her, she has this pirate, though. Uh, Gargamel? Oh, he's mean. <laughs> he's always after, like, you know, just the little ones. He's kind of trying to, like, just make them feel awful. Sure. Um, we haven't figured out, though. Like, that parrot? Mm. Yeah. And her, and it was always, always, I'm sorry, that was her parrot. Sorry, I heard, I heard yes. pirate. I, so it's a oh, it's a pirate parrot. parrot. No, okay, it's a parrot. It's, it has one eye patch, and it it does say like R, and then like makes some weird noises and sure. vows, you know, vengeance for her. Yeah, like parrots behalf, do. But... Almost all the parrots I've yeah. had. <laughs> yeah, almost all of them. It has, it has learned to swear very well, though. <laughs> it puts the rest of us pirates to shame. Sure. <laughs> it is truly a sailor at heart. <laughs> Because, see, you said Gargamel, and the first thing I thought was, does does this pirate also have, like, a cat named Azriel? Good memory. Yeah, wasn't uh, it from the Smurfs? And it hates, Things? and, like, it is the Smurfs. Um, I don't know why that came to my mind, but oh, this I have no idea it's like it's... where wacky blue shit would have come to your mind. <laughs> if you start singing, tra la 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 I will not. <laughs> 
certainly. You know, that could be made into a sea shanty. I think we should, after this, we should try and figure that out. Sure. Because that could be quite entertaining. Oh, sure. We can get like, you know, beautiful one part harmony. It'd be great. (laughs) You know, to this day, I like, I love the Smurfs, but like, I never imagined actually figuring out that they would come back. Because I, I, I didn't see the movies. I heard like people have nightmares from those, but like, like that music, like gets in your head. And it's like the, it's the song that will never end kind of thing. It just, right. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Although sometimes we've been known to sing baby shark to a shanty tune. That's very good. (laughs) My my kid would love it. At the very least, he'd probably come up and join in baby shark. This is what, this is when we don't want to be welcome back. You know, they'll pay us to leave. (laughs) Is, I love the saying, some bring happiness when you enter, others when you leave. <laughs> I mean, do you have difficulty with that? People going, you know what? We'd really love you to come back. And you go, oh, I'm sorry. We really, you really. Well, I have like the eight people that have ever seen us perform. Oh, okay. um, Well, we do everything virtually, so our, we can track things very accurately. Yeah. Um, yeah. We usually drive to a location, perform virtually for another location. It's great. It's how we keep our anonymity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, no, nah, we have more than eight people, but like, uh, it's, it's on the seas that we're feared the most, right? Of so course. When we're, when we're doing our real business, the sea shanties just kind of get us by on the, mm-hmm. on the off season. Right. But when you're out in Puget Sound, dang it. Or like Lake Washington, you know, that's close too, mm-hmm. but you know. <laughs> Actually, the, the waters can be quite rough on on uh, Lake Washington. That's a good point. Yeah, um, and and then you see the bridge, and they say, "Oh, it doesn't have any environmental impact," and it'll like be perfectly calm on the other side, but like raging white capped waters on the other side. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, no, it makes the boat getting past really a pain in the butt, but we figure it out. I don't remember a bridge. <laughs> I mean, but the last time the, I saw I Lake Washington, bridge. okay. I mean, I trust you, but the last time I saw Lake Washington was like. Like 1990, <laughs> so. Well, 89? maybe then we hit in 1990. I think it was we had the inauguration day storm, and the bridge part of the bridge sunk. Oh shoot! So maybe you saw the part that sank. It <laughs> could be. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm not joking. Someone literally left the door open, and and this huge part of the floating bridge. Oh sank. my gosh. I'm not joking. Like, and so some crazy businessman from Japan like paid two million bucks, raised it. Floated over Japan and turned it into a floating dock where they built on top of it and stuff. Okay. Because it's perfectly sound. It just don't leave the door open, apparently. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... <laughs> and it was a big, 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 big storm. I mean, you know, that's a... <laughs> it's it's the kind of thing you want to keep in mind. Breach hole, all die, or sink, you know. And and fire. <laughs> so there's strictly no smoking True. policy. <laughs> Good thinking. Good shit. thinking. <laughs> Even with the rats. Don't, don't smoke the rats. <laughs> so where I don't even know what that meant. So at some point at some point Captain Morgan and, and Captain Morgan and, and her and her uh, non-binary crew needs to um um gender non-conforming crew. Does that sound better? I like that. Captain fluidic. Morgan the GNC the GNC crew. Um <laughs> but at some point there needs to be sailing off into the sunset. What mm. uh, what would be the end for Captain Morgan? See, there's never quite an end for an idea, right? Mm. That's uh, true. It's see, I think Captain Morgan be, can be bigger than the person. It can be the person that entices other non-conforming crazies, lovers of the sea. Yes. That just kind of want to be belong to something bigger than themselves, and so like. The idea, I hope, never dies. Right. But for the end of me, um, as Captain Morgan, well, that's easy. I'll just get back to my normal, actual nine-to-five job someday when I'm like when I grow up and become mature. But until then, <laughs> it's sea shanties and plundering and you know all sorts of craziness, non-binary craziness. And, and have that take a <laughs> while, right? I mean, don't don't just like don't go. You know what? It's been like two weeks, guys. Let's go. I'm getting back to work. <laughs> Get bored. And these, none of these people really like to work anyway. So it's kind of like a perfect excuse to, if you can align those, those desires with the crazy right. skills that people have and, right. you know. But so, so you wouldn't pull off like a Dread Pirate Roberts kind of thing? I might pass the, the bill. Okay. Um, no so, pun intended. No, I, uh, no. I think the crazy, 
they would of course have to pick their own new outfit, right? Hmm. So no, no copying. No. Unless we'll allow one article like the hat or something, I think. Ooh, um, there you go, yeah. So everybody will know based upon that one article. But like, uh, I think I think we could have like the Dread Pirate kind of pass the shen- or Actually, yeah, it was. Um, you know, and we'll have a couple like stipulations. Of course, there has to be like um, a story, a princess, rat, rodents of unusual size. <laughs> You're right. What a great story. Fun. And the Sicilians that want to see you dead. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, fire swamps. Yeah, things like that. Uh, don't go into the fire swamp. It's bad. Right. It's a- <laughs> you, could, you can lose a lot of good clothing in the fire swamp. Mm-hmm. It's not a good thing. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm not saying you want to build a summer home That's there. That's you have but skill the in, really in moderating nice. the, the terrain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Okay, well, so I I think I beat the, the pirate theme to death. Thank you for, for, for picking uh, that you're up. You're making it walk the plank car yet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mainly I ran out of questions. I was like, shoot, that went way better. than. <laughs> Was, oh, are I, you saying you need some? No, sure, bring some. <laughs> I was concerned I was going to go, I was concerned I was going to say, well, what, what's the crew like? You're going to go, I don't know, it's like a couple of guys, you know, they're crashing on my couch. I mean, what else? You know, I don't know. But you took it and ran with no. it, which is impressive. <laughs> you know, if, you're, if you live in the life of a pirate, you really need to m- make sure that you have humor because it keeps you going from... You know, one gig to the next, right? <laughs> sure because otherwise, does. life is just one plunder after the other with no meaning. You know, what if? Have you ever heard of a rich pirate? No, we're stupid and go bury all treasure and write a map and give it to someone else and forget where we put it. Always right. So <laughs> right? How does that's that why happen? they're always plundering? They're poor. Yes, right. <laughs> Or we consume all the stuff we steal. They're handing off <laughs> borrow. But well, yeah, right, borrow. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're always handing off maps. I always kind of wonder at that. It's like, how many maps do you, like, how do you have? Just, and like, find a bank. What? I mean, like, what the hell's wrong with that? You can tell, I don't know, you've, I've got to, you have to go to like. What the fuck is a bank? I have no idea. I know, it's silly. <laughs> but it's always like, well, you have to you know, go to the island and then turn around three times and then clap and then, you know. <laughs> I think nothing. you're just describing the latest Indiana Jones movie. I don't know. I don't know if that's yeah. pirates. Yeah, no, it's. it's... <laughs> you know, one thing I did think about is, is divesting my fortune uh, as a pirate <laughs> okay. um, was Bitcoin. <laughs> I, I think this is a oh safe and easy way to get into, you know, the after pirate market. What do you think? I think it's a good. I, heard, I just heard about it. Bitcoin doubloons. Yes, I, I think it's the perfect. <laughs> It's the perfect pirate one. coin. Mm-hmm. Pirate coin. <laughs> you know, everybody's starting their own, their own, um, and, and randomly sometimes your your fortune will just disappear and belong to somebody else. In fact, it kind of mimics Bitcoin. Go figure. <laughs> Bitcoin paid handsomely for this product placement. Let me tell you, everybody, Probably. it's so hard to work that into a a pirate <laughs> that Captain Morgan pulled it off. Well done. <laughs> Well, well, Morgan, I think you have to go in a couple minutes. So <laughs> that being said, boy, thank you so much. I can't believe you picked that up and just, I mean, wow. Very well done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you would call that, but oh, a, a, a nice, a nice interlude of things. <laughs> it was, it was very well done. <clears throat> I don't know how many times thank I've you. laughed, <laughs> I've laughed that long. So um, <laughs> I do want to tell you, I mean, we, you and I only met like yesterday, a couple days ago. Was it two days ago? Three <laughs> days ago? <clears throat> it all blurs together when you're living the pirate it life. It really does, yeah. When when booty is all you seek. <laughs> you know, it's important to see eye to eye <laughs> on this topic. <laughs> with, with booty, I'm not... Now I'm unsure. Where's that no, no, going? Like, not... I, uh, it's a pirate joke. Okay. Go with it. I'm, oh, I'm, oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> I'm okay, right I'm now. Better. How did I miss that? How did I miss? Because I you're sensible and not living the pirate life. Might apparently. Be. This is. I'm a. 
I'm just a landlubber, and uh, may- maybe someday I'll be you're... able to. <laughs> Go I ahead. think you said you already said key haul, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that means like move, like pull them on a rope and pull them underwater and stuff. I don't even know. Oh. I'm like, I think there's water involved with a boat, right? I don't know. I don't really know these things. Something about sharks, too, but... I think, yeah. was there... Could we, be sharks? we figure this shit out as we go, right? You mean the boat has to float? Yeah, I mean, you need to... <laughs> you need to be able to pivot on a... You know, pivot at, at, at the moment's notice. You know, when you're pirating out there, just pirate. <laughs> is that a verb? Let's call it a verb. It is. When you're out there pirating... Um, I mean, you know, we have one on our crew that's wanted by the FBI. Did you know that? No, no, that's... Uh, that's A serious. bunch of videos, you know, went pirated. Oh. You know. Oh. <laughs> and then talking about CDs. Yeah, there's... One guy started Napster. It's weird. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> we met like a few days ago, but I will tell you the the... Our conversation has been so so genuine and so amazing. I Man, I just wanted to say thank you. You you um, your email picked me up when I was not feeling very well, and uh, I don't know. All I want to say is thank you. It was it was uh, you know it was very heartfelt. Thank you. So thank you also for being before I cry or before you cry. Maybe you're not. You're still thinking about booty. Um, Thank you so much for appearing. Thank they you so much. They say that a pirate thinks about booty boats like eight times every eight second times or something it, like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you sure that's, I don't know if that's pirates. I think that's, I think that's something else. <laughs> Pretty confident. Just go with it. Okay. I think it's, I think it's true. That's go what with I heard. the flow. That's what I heard. The, like the Orinoco flow, various currents that. All right. Thank you again. I hope. That's actually a tragic tale, the Orinoke. But uh, is that the one where the island just completely disappeared, the population? I think I think that's Roanoke. Yeah, Roanoke Island, oh. though, yes. You know, you could make a whole show of, like, things that people, like, one-offs like that that are just like, oh, did you mean the thing that's, like, that other thing you just said, but one-off is a completely different direction? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be great to have the, this, like, hey, we were talking about the Orinoco flow, and people go, gosh, isn't that where people got lost? And you go... I don't know. Then you sail out there and you go, I don't see any people. And it perpetuates. Yes, right. <laughs> then you get it. Then people start wondering. It's like Berenstain Bears, right? Or, I can't think of what that's called. The, the Mandela effect, maybe, um, where people go. You mean the. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I don't remember the Mandela effect. I, I try to remember. What I think that's what it's called. All I remember from Bears to Bears is like my dad said, like, I hate that book because his father always looks like a complete idiot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, see, the thing the thing is, and this is part of the Mandela effect, from what I understand. Somebody else explained this to me because people there. A lot of people thought Nelson Mandela had died. And, and it was, you know, Shaq did a movie called Sinbad. Apparently, mm-hmm. it's not true. Um I think maybe, but I was like, cause I think it was like Aladdin or something, but anyway, but there, it's like partly true, but then you go, gosh, well, how did I know that? Cause I get, cause I thought it was the Baron Stein, Baron Stein bears, I think. And it's like Baron Stein. Anyway. What? Right. See? Now I have to look that You up. do. Right. See now I'll put, I'll link that in the show notes too. What the hell? Um, oh my God, it is. See? <laughs> But you, but I've been living life wrong this whole year. I've been living a lie. You have. <laughs> this whole time. There was your entire gender identity and then also the fucking Berenstain Bears. Uh, That's really the one that gets you, though, isn't it? Just right there. The Berenstain Bears? The Bear, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. Um, yes. But I can it see it. You sail out to the Orinoco Flow and people go, was it, was it, was it Roanoke? You go, I think it was the Roanoke flow. And they go, was that the island? And uh, they get conflated. And then people think <laughs> the island's floating away. And they go, people, we can't find the people on Roanoke Island because the island floated away. <laughs> you know, I'm re- literally reading the mysterious island right now. <laughs> See? Um, on, on Audible. <laughs> floated away. <laughs> it's now in the Orinoco flow and sank right next to the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Elvis the Bermuda and Triangle sank? <laughs> What? No, I, I said the Bermuda Triangle sank. I think so. The Did they make a movie about that? The whole triangle sank, yeah. 
<laughs> they should have just picked up more of Florida when they were doing it, but you know, man, don't you wish? Question. Yeah, they could have just yes, <laughs> or at least just the you know the governors. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least the governors. At least the governor. <laughs> anyway, boy, that Sorry. that could turn into a really big topic. <clears throat> mm. So I will thank you again, and this time I swear, <laughs> we're not going to pick anything else up. Thank you so much, Morgan. It was a pleasure. Thanks, um, and I've enjoyed meeting and getting to know you. Thank you. So, Very much the yeah. same here. Oh boy, when I wrote pirate questions, I was pretty certain it was going to flop. Morgan, your ability to write an entire story on the spot has inspired me. Thank you for the laughter, sister. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Why Are You? If you'd like to hear more, please consider subscribing using the links you're going to find in the show notes. And until next time, remember that burning question, Why Are You?